Okay, we did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Mondays with Bev and Paul. It's July 10th, 2017. Yeah. And my name's Paul. And my name's Bev. Hi. Good morning. Good Hi. morning. Good morning, everyone. Life is cooling off finally in Tucson. Oh. Only 100 degrees yesterday with the clouds and the thunder. I know. <laughs> and 10 drops of rain on my window. <laughs> Just enough to make our cars dirty. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let me check, make sure we're on. We are on, so that's good. All right, so we have a good show today. I Let's think. see where we can go with this one. Yeah. Our pre shows are always pretty interesting because yeah. we get way out there. Way out there. <laughs> and Rain ourselves to, in. Right. right. So uh, <laughs> let's talk about a few things today. Uh, let's go right to the dream catcher. How okay. would it be about that one? Yeah, our beautiful dream catcher in our center here in Tucson. Uh, Lorraine Mills. Um, is graciously lent us uh, this beautiful piece of art, really a collective global thought that she had and came into manifestation on December 12, 2012. Yeah, and uh, it's sitting in our center four feet across with mesquite wood and every week we choose someone uh, and put their picture in the center and this week we have Caprice Green. Is her name. She's gone by a couple of other names, and she is a recipient uh, back in 2008, and she got real involved and then moved to her home now, which is in um, Georgia. Oh, wow. Yes, Columbus, Georgia. Hey. So she resides there, and I think she just had a child. And Aww, so our nice. best goes to you, Caprice. Yes, wonderful. Thanks uh, for supporting BioTouch all these years. Great. And uh, if you'd like to be in the center of the dream catcher, just send us a photo of yourself and where you reside on the planet and each week we choose someone new. So yeah. happy trails to you, uh, Caprice. Wonderful. All right. So uh, let's see what's some of the news we had. Ah, Michaela. We heard from Michaela, our German practitioner. Yeah. She is just going gangbusters, That's folks. So awesome. So if you're ever out in the German area, uh, give her a call. She just uh, did the pocket manual next oh, in German. Isn't that something? It looks awesome. Uh, <laughs> and the DVD, she's working on that. Yeah, she's working on the DVD, and she just had another workshop in Hamburg. Yeah. She was supposed to have five people, a couple of people got sick, but she had three people in her class, and one of those people, uh, Sophia. Sophie. Yeah, Sophie, is it Sophie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, says she wants to get more interested in helping uh, teach BioTouch. Oh. That would be amazing. So, uh, and so she speaks English, too, so it'll be easy to run her through. That would be, the, a, yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, so Something's happening in Germany. Good That's job, sure. Michaela. Yes, thank you. Thank and, of you. course, we have Joy and Dave doing their work. Oh. Uh, so, Dave, he uh, he's just awesome out, out there in Durango. Uh, opened up a center, center. His, his little place on oh, Main Street of Durango, so Colorado. So excited. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's great. We had a... Uh, call with him a Skype we did and you know he he brought up a really good point it's like come full circle yes because this is the area that uh, you know you met Norman and yeah uh, 29 years ago and so you know Dave's really excited to have it come around again and yeah. so it'll be interesting if I step foot back into Durango to teach a class wow. with him. <laughs> wow how <laughs> you great know, uh, it's just incredible what's going on in after 29 years yeah well you know, it's time. Yeah, and a big part of that is because of you. You know, Aww. stepping in there and, and helping lead the board and doing these shows together and yeah. really taking BioTouch to heart. You know. Oh, that's a good way of putting it, taking it to heart. Yeah. That's what it's about. So, Dave also sent us a great testimonial, and we're going to have Bev read it here. It is really very profound, I, I do believe. So, I would like to read it. There he is there. There's Dave. There's Dave. Towering over Bev. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody towers over Bev. <laughs> Doesn't take much. Okay. So, yeah. So, read this. Okay. Dave writes, in 2003, I ran a marathon in Durango, Colorado. At the time, I hadn't realized the significance of that feat. When people run the Boston, they're running at sea level. Durango is at 6,500 feet elevation. The run taxes every part of the body. In 2004, I broke my right heel bone and quit running. So for the last 13 years, I've had so much pain that I could barely walk at times, let alone run. 
I learned the BioTouch method in the early 90s and have continued to do the touch, however sporadically. In May of this year, I traveled to Tucson and spent eight days at the center and became a certified practitioner. I have since given several introductory BioTouch workshops and have opened a small shop in Durango. I've helped numerous recipients. While in Tucson, I didn't receive specific sessions regarding my foot issues. However, since that time, I've been pain-free. It has occurred to me that the practitioner receives the benefit of BioTouch while doing the points on a recipient. So I've added myself to my list of recipients. I am now running again thanks to BioTouch. Now there's a lot in that testimonial. There is. <laughs> it is pregnant with thought. Pregnant yes. with thought. Pregnant with <laughs> thought. <laughs> okay, right. so let's birth that yeah. idea. <laughs> that was me. good. That was good. You're right on top of it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, what what does that bring up for us here? Well, you know, the first thing when he was mentioning that to us on our um, in the testimonial is something that we have been really perpetuating anyway. That BioTouch is a true relationship of healing, which is what happens when both of the people involved, recipient and practitioner, are receiving and giving the same at, at the same time. It, they're, you're just in the presence of each other and BioTouch lets all the possibilities for both of you to come into play. So when he said that, it was just a reminder for us that, oh my gosh, that testimonial it just reaffirmed for me that what we've been saying about BioTouch is true. It's you know, and it, and just you know, let alone on that physical level, it just you know we're not just talking. This is not just some philosophical jargon that's been passed down for eons of time. When we hear all the time, the giving is the receiving, and when you practice BioTouch and you're addressing the body, you mm -hmm. know, and you and you're looking at the form, mm -hmm. you know these things come into manifestation you know that that here's truly an experience of him giving was receiving right and his body got better that was a perceptible change right, right that he could that it was tangible for him not a philosophical thing and we're all one kind of a thing he really there was this that circle that started to happen yeah that self-awareness we're already talking about always talking about that's what that's what happened in his own self-awareness he realized and came to this conclusion that oh my gosh all of the bio touch that i have been giving well if it's a true relationship of love and of of you know service to one another how can i not heal how can i not receive <laughs> something out of the being in that you know relationship so if i might say <laughs> see i'm not saying that anymore and now you are um it, it just reminds me of uh the equality you know how that bio touch you know we say it all the time is everyone's equal in the ability to do this there's no mm -hmm. level of healers oh, and right. this is a perfect example of that that even as we practice it on someone you know it comes back to us and and the the there's no levels here there's no you don't have to be initiated you don't have to you know have a philosophical basis i always remember the self-awareness idea so we had a, a truck driver he was actually the president of the teamsters union truck driver union in colorado oh. and he came to our classes <laughs> so the first time he came to the class he came with his wife and he came to the practitioner training and uh, his answer to why he was there was because of her. That was his first one. Oh. Then they came to the certification class, and we went around the room, and he said, I'm here because of her. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing was, he went on to become an instructor, and she did She did it. <laughs> now, why are you doing this? Um. And so, I always loved this. He would stand up in front of the class, and when it was time to talk about what is self-awareness, he would always say, I have no damn idea what they're talking about when they talk about self-awareness. <laughs> oh, wow, is that a self-awareness uh, thing to say, isn't right? It? Isn't it? And I it, mean... It, it's perfect because yeah. his awareness of not knowing uh, was perfect. Yeah. And to be able to admit that 
And that's what we say here. That this whole idea of self-awareness is we're trying to teach with BioTouch is it's just an awareness of ourself as we relate to our surroundings. Mm. It's mm-hmm. not about trying to change it. No, no, no. In fact, uh, I was thinking about that the other day. We're not here to change anything. That's going to happen in its own time, in its own way for each one of us. And that is why we're always saying the consistency of of BioTouch and that meeting each other at that place of the body over time, uh, we all get to unfold that in our own ways in our own time and you know which kind of brings us to the other thing we wanted to bring up about this thought about i don't i don't know so i'm reading uh i read this thing by alan watts philosopher this day and age and i read this thing and it says um, the i don't know to be able to say i don't know is i love boy and I immediately thought about all the times people ask us questions here. And our usual answer, and it gets to be a joke after a while, oh, right. we know the answer, I don't know. Right. And the power in being able to admit we don't know. We don't know. And, you know, that's a very good thought because I, when I have actually said that to people, I, I, I get very clearly that when I say I don't know, I am allowing all the possibilities, all the answers to that question to come into play that I don't need to know. Right. And when I say I don't know, it's the same. When you say it's the same as I love, we're holding that even in that um, relationship in those sessions between the practitioner and the recipient because we uh, we approach them and enter into that session with the whole concept that I'm just touching. I don't need to know what what their journey is. I don't need to know this. I don't need to give a diagnosis. I don't need to know if they've had one. I just need I just want to touch. And when so I don't need to know anything. And and that's the power of of meeting another human being at that level of relationship yeah you know that that at that point we all are equal you know yeah. I always like to say we're all just bozos on the boat <laughs> yeah, right. you know we're all trying to do the best we can, we can. with what we've been given mm. and that's why I think you and I are both so excited about biotech mm-hmm. because it just brings all these concepts that we've heard and studied and it really doesn't matter what religious or philosophical background because they all have lots of concepts out there which brings it into application yeah and see those types of things get in the way of all the possibilities that can unfold and when we say we don't know that's really what we're saying is well why do we have to step into claiming that we have the answer to anything. Right. And that's where Alan Watts says, I don't know is I love. Yeah. And, it's and perfect. that's what we say. Biotouch is the revolution of love. Mm. You know, it's that, that old uh, timer, that CIA agent in that first CP class. And he mm. said, you know, I've never seen as powerful a revolution as I see happening here in this little town of Mancus. He says, because this one is based on love. Based on love. Yeah. So. It's great. So continue to say, I don't know. Continue to open yourself to the possibilities that can happen just by taking these two fingers. Where are they? There they are. There they are. And touching another human being just lightly on the skin. Mm. So let's show a little bit about that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's yep. show you how to start with BioTouch. And uh, this is our manual here, the BioTouch manual. You can also get that in a downloadable version for your computer. And uh, we're going to just teach you the uh, greeting here. So let's just go right to that. The greeting is always performed at the beginning of each session. It's the only set that uses one hand and the only set that indicates which hand to use. The greeting is performed with the dominant hand. If you are right-handed, use your right hand. If you are left-handed, use your left hand. The greeting is made by touching at point one which is in the fleshy area just below the bottom of the breastbone or sternum. 
Hold this point for six to eight seconds. Then with the same two fingers, touch point two on the back. To find point two, look for the big bone at the base of the neck. From here, move one to one and a half inches to the left. This is point two. Hold this point for six to eight seconds. More than one associate may work with a recipient provided that all of the associates perform the greeting. If the associate or the recipient leaves the session, or if someone who hasn't done the greeting touches either the recipient or the associate, the greeting must be reestablished. Oh, so there it is, folks. Just, I don't know, and let yourself touch with those two fingers. And the beauty of that uh, little greeting there is a fan that's a family. I know. Yeah. And, Sweet. Um, and it just reminds me, so that the husband and wife there, I, I just have to share, we have a practitioner here, I don't think she'll mind me saying her name, Rose. Her uh, husband had a stroke uh, over three years ago. Mm -hmm. They did some acupuncture and things, and he did really well for the first few months, and then a year and a half after that, he just sort of leveled. You know, right. didn't, didn't get worse, but didn't get much better. Yeah. She found BioTouch. I know. Downloaded the manual, DVD, and started practicing it. And were excited as could be. They just couldn't believe the changes that were happening. I think, what is it like walking now or yeah. moving his arm oh, better? Oh, yeah, or and continuing. The yeah. more that she uses BioTouch, as, as we know. So, you know, our, our thing to her was, God, it'd be great to have your husband you know, learn some of these points. And just the other day, uh, so she took the class, and she's actually going to intern now. Right. And she was telling me about how she gets her husband to uh, work with him with her and so what she does is so he has one arm that he can't really use she will take that arm and put it on a hold point and she will take her hand and put it over that point so it doesn't move while he can take his other hand and do the points now that just <laughs> hits your heart I know you, I mean you talk about just the the sharing of love and the the communication at a level that goes beyond any words. Oh, anything. And you know what came to me too is how creative was that of, right. of them to come up with that so that they could share in that relationship. Oh. So we just want to thank Rose oh. and her husband Larry and uh, you know we, we can't wait to see when that hand maybe will hold itself by it right. and move on its own. Right. So Rose and Larry are you know, for me, exactly what we are here to give to humanity. The power that Rose and Larry have with her going onto the website, learning the points that she needed, interacting with, you know, the video and, and downloading the ebook, and, and on her own, discovering how the, she can help her husband and it's working. I mean, it's that's exactly what our purpose is here in getting BioTouch into every single family and group. I mean, it's it is. just and that's beautiful. The, the only reason we do these shows, that's the only reason we have a website, that's the only reason we do anything, is we just want all of you out there to try it. Right. Just try it. Just take these two fingers and touch another human touch. being. Yeah. And let's start creating a chain that will go on indefinitely, and we'll talk more about our vision next week. Yeah. Because we have a lot to talk about. We have that. a lot of, yeah. <laughs> so guess what? That was another 20 minutes. <laughs> wow. Yes, sirree. Thank you, folks. And again, you can go to our website, justtouch.com. Uh, order the manual, the DVD. You can become a member and download the ebook version of it. Go to our YouTube site, BioTouch One. There's all kinds of testimonial work there, some presentations I've done at different places. Uh, just send us an email if you have a question. Oh, yeah. We're here. We're here, and we're there, and we're everywhere. Yeah, we're everywhere. <laughs> well, that's what our <laughs> intention is. We'll see. <laughs> so I want to thank you, Beth, for thank another you. marvelous Monday. Oh, thank you, Paul. And thank you, everyone. Hey, everyone. We'll, we'll see you next week. Have a glorious week.